Tori, thank you. Lubbock Lake, Lake Landmark digging up some really cool discoveries this summer. K Max Nicolette Perdomo went to the excavation site today. What are they finding out there, Nicolette? Lauren, the history of Lubbock dating back hundreds of years ago when the Apache migrated to the area. Archaeologists told me the site they're working on now was actually a campsite, and with every layer, they're finding more and more history. The Apaches dominated almost all of West Texas, hunting and gathering and making camp. We know this because of the work the Lubbock Lake Landmark has been doing over the last 50 years. The earliest periods we have on the Southern High Plains, these people were also extremely highly mobile, moving large distances across the landscape. They were big time um, bison hunters and they're also big time traders. Around 500 years ago, humans roamed the Southern High Plains and little by little they're discovering more of what their lives used to be like. We know they were butchering bison and they were eating bison on the site. Um, they were carrying supplies with them since they were highly mobile people. The Lubbock Lake Landmark, a place for them to camp out and use the water resources. The landmark was a stopping point along their route across the high plains in a place they continuously stopped at because of the continuous fresh water. Researchers are trying to figure out the territorial identity of these hunter-gatherers. Lots of bison bone, lots of stone flakes and debris, um, the piece of ceramic, and all these different materials are coming up and telling us uh, that we might be in a, it could be a separate Apache occupation or it could be the same one. This is the first year in the last three years we've actually got onto the archaeology of this time period. Before we were just excavating in the upper layers. The excavation has been focusing on exposing more of the protohistoric living surface. Their findings will be examined over the next few months. All right, Nicolette.